Hey guys, my name is Sir. Welcome to another vlog. So I'm currently in DC in the United States. I'm here for some work. I'm going to be here for a couple of days. The reason I want to make this video is because I think we've seen a huge shift in technology. Recently, I saw the Google I.O. conference. So this is the conference where Google tells the world about all the latest stuff that they're working on. And this time, Google spoke a lot about AI. So some of the key points that this conference had is Android's user interface is going to change. So probably next year out, you'll start seeing a lot more phones using gesture based control methods versus uh, buttons. But what was most interesting to me was so this is something called Google duplex. You might have heard of something called the Turing test. Essentially, it's a test to know whether a machine has gotten good enough to imitate a human being. So what Google duplex is, it's a service on your phone, where if you say, okay, Google, I need to make an appointment for a haircut. Google will check if that establishment has an online presence. If it doesn't, it'll physically call them and make the appointment for you by voice. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Let's listen. Good happening off you. Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. This is kind of cool and scary at the same time because... Um, because of the fact that she didn't know. I think we've reached the point where we passed the Turing test. The person couldn't detect that it was a computer calling them and the computer was able to handle all these different kinds of nuances in the text and stuff, like things like saying, hmm, ah, those kind of things that only humans do. Now Google has learned to do that too. Let's say you want to call a restaurant, but maybe it's a small restaurant which is not easily available to book online. The call actually goes a bit differently than expected. So take a listen. See how may I hear you? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For seven people? Um, it's for four people. Four people when? Um, Day, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually, we live here for like upper like five people. For few, four people, you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? For when tomorrow or weekday or? For next Wednesday, uh, the seventh. Oh no, it's not too busy. You you, you can come for four people, okay? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Thanks. Bye bye. Second example really freaked me out because the person on the other line was really difficult to understand. She had an accent, um, she was not using grammatically correct sentences, and so there was a lot for the computer to handle. The system was still able to guide through that conversation and still accomplish the task that was required. This is a complete different level of artificial intelligence. Now, a couple of people online have made really valid points about why this is maybe going too far and uh, you know I I'm a technology person I love new technology you need to progress but uh, you know now you're talking about a gray line when it comes to human social interaction what if you don't know if the person you're talking to is a computer or another person I mean that's that's something that uh, we are on the verge of right now. 10 years from now, are we going to get sales calls mostly from robots that we can't tell are human or not? Our company is going to be obligated to inform you that you're speaking to a robot because you can't tell the difference. With this technology, we started wondering who we could get into the studio with an amazing voice. 
Take a look. Couscous, a type of North African semolina and granules made from crushed durum wheat. Can you tell me where you live? You can find me on all kinds of devices, phones, Google Homes, and if I'm lucky, in your heart. I also wanted to talk about some positive things, like being able to converse with a computer with real natural language. Maybe 10 years from now, I'll be editing videos with my voice. So let me know what you guys think of AI. Do you think we've gone too far? I'll be having a whole set of videos coming out from the US. I haven't had too much time to explore. I've been busy with work, but once I do, I'll definitely be making vlogs from DC very soon. So stay tuned.